This is one of our most exciting new products to put in our portfolio in probably the last 10 years. Um, TI Pro Board, as we like to call it, it's the exterior deck solution. As you know, living areas have become one of the most popular spaces for homeowners today. And bringing tile to the outdoors has been a very difficult challenge for several, several years. When I first started at FinPan 24 years ago, was basically told if anybody called in and wanted to talk about cement backer board on an exterior deck, rec highly recommend them not to do that because it wasn't so much the concrete backer board because it, it's unaffected by moisture. It'll hold up to the exterior um, conditions. It's the wood substrates underneath it that are moving, rotting, and create a lot of problems when you're trying to tile a deck. So, TI Pro Board solves all, the, all those problems though. So what is TI Pro Board? I'm gonna switch our view over to give you a better look of, at this. TI Pro Board is a pull truded com fiberglass composite panel. As you see, there's ribs, it's one foot wide, it comes in an eight foot length, and it's got a tongue and groove design. The dovetail ribs give it exceptional strength when you pack the mortar in it. So again, just wanted to show you a closer view of this. Back into the PowerPoint. Again, like I said, TI Pro Board, it's a pull truded fiberglass panel. Pull trusion is a, uh, tech, is a uh, manufacturing technique that uh, produces very strong products. Again, one foot by eight foot, three eighths inches to the top of the dovetail grooves, tongue and groove design. It's not susceptible to swelling or degradation due to weather conditions. And most importantly, as you see below, in the Robinson floor test, TI Pro Board achieves some pretty phenomenal numbers. In, in the traditional Robinson floor test, we got an extra heavy duty floor rating, basically drive a car over this. We also did a 14 foot suspended deck test and it achieved a commercial floor rating. So again, very strong, once the board is down, it's filled with mortar and it's tile. But the greatest thing of all is TI Pro Board is the only single component system for tiling decks available on the market. So one product to the joist, you're ready to tile. Moving on. So how do we install TI Pro Board? If it's a remodeled deck, Number, the first thing you need to do is remove all the running boards. We need TI Pro Board to go directly to those joists. So once you've done that, or if it's a new, new uh, construction, you obviously don't have the running boards to worry about. But you're going to install TI Pro Board directly to the deck joist, either on 16 inches on center, 19 to, all the way up to 24 inches on center will uh, we'll warrant. Two things to remember. You want to make sure that that deck has some slope built into it per code, quarter inch per foot shed to shed the water. You also want to make sure certain that that deck is designed for a maximum assembly deflection of L over 720. So with all that ready to go and you're ready, ready to build that deck, TI Pro Boards first, it's going to run perpendicular to the joist as you see in illustration one. Again, the key thing with TI Pro Board is single component system. You're not multi-layering up like some of the others in the industry. We've been on several failed jobs from competitors. TI Pro Board, we've never had a failure. We've sold it all the way up into northern Canada. It just, it's unaffected by moisture in extreme conditions. So again, a very sound choice when you want to bring tile to the outdoors. Once you have your TI Pro Board down, on the deck, you're going to come back uh, and fill those 3 8 inch dovetailed ribs with a mortar meeting ANSI A1081B. Screed it off to just the very top of the ribs and you're finished. At that point then, you're ready to tile. You, you got to do a minimum 12 inch exterior rated porcelain tile using exterior rated modified mortar. We also specify expansion joints every 10 feet for large decks. Once you have your tile down, you just use a sanded or an epoxy grout, again, meeting and having an exterior rating, this one being ANSI A118.3, 
0.6 or 0.7. One other thing to think about with TI Pro Board, as you see in this illustration, way down at the far end, looks like the homeowner's using Red Guard to waterproof that deck. That's been rolled right over top of that mortar bed that was installed into the dovetail grooves, grooves of the TI Pro Board. That's an, that installation is authorized as long as you don't have living area underneath that deck. Because as you see in this illustration, there's no living area. It's just, you know, earth underneath it. If you've got an actual living area underneath that deck, by code, you need to use a peel and stick membrane. Thin pan cells, protecto wraps, protecto deck. It's a peel and stick membrane, 70 mil thickness, very easy to install, and it ensures that you've got waterproof proofness in that installation. And again, that's simply going to be installed after you've filled those dovetail ribs with the mortar. Come back with the peel and stick membrane, you're ready to tile directly on top of that membrane. We also offer the TI Pro Board Deck Kit. This is a very easy to install um, deck kit that might work in tandem with your traditional wood deck or a Trex deck. Simply remove a four by four area. The uh, panels will come to you in a four foot length. Simply install them, screed the mortar to the top of the ribs, and you're ready to tile. And as you can see in the two photos on the right, you can have your fire, your, your uh, fire pit or your grill located on there. It'll help from uh, any flare ups from grease um, and make it very easily to wipe up any stains that might occur during uh, your cooking, you know, barbecuing out with the family. And it also makes a nice focal point on the deck. One of the biggest additions to the TCNA handbook in 217 as far as FinPan was uh, concerned, TI Pro Board was introduced into the handbook. Now when you turn to page 66 and look forward after this, you're going to say, I don't see TI Pro Board anywhere. Well, they're not allowed to call out manufacturer's product by name, so they call TI Pro Board a structural ribbed self-supporting board. Actually, I had to look at the screen myself because it's such a long uh, word. SRSB. But bottom line is, there's enough installations across North America that, we've been, that we were able to send all of our testing specs into the TCNA, and it's now in the handbook. So a very big accomplishment for FinPan, and should give you a lot of peace of mind knowing that this, this product has been thoroughly tested, and it's been out in the market long enough and achieved the status that it has.